Caleb, how are you? Joshua, what up, buddy? What's going on, my guy? Not much. Well, we're all we're <laughs> close quarters. My date. Mm. Yeah. It's super intimate. It is it's very intimate. <laughs> so you've had this, right? Yes. Oh, I'm a I uh, it's definitely one of uh, one of my faves, uh, by Gnarly Barley. Yeah, dude. This one and like Radical Rye, and things mm -hmm. like that. What's well, you know? What's up, girl? It's all about uh, <laughs> by. I feel it's all about by local, right? You're right, you're right. Right there in Hammond, Louisiana. Things that had a solid 6.2 ABV. Let so that... it's a Baltic oatmeal porter, by the way, in case you didn't know. I did. Mm. Finish the can, not a report, man. I'm with that. You would say we go back quite, quite some time. Yeah, man, I think like... Um, so we're talking post Katrina, so probably about mm -hmm. 15 years at this point. It's been that Has long. It been that? No, you weren't old enough to drink. No, I was. I was <laughs> 17. Yeah. Uh, when I started at at, uh, at Hot Topic. Right. At the Hot Pocket. First job I got right out of uh, moving here from think, New Orleans. I think it was the first job I got after high school, <laughs> which was awesome because not only did wait did, did I hire you? Skip hired. Me. Okay. Just um, making sure I didn't make that mistake. Uh, you, <laughs> you were my assistant manager, mm -hmm. and that introduced me to the not only the local music scene, which you were a big part of, you and Skip. Mm -hmm. uh, it introduced me to the really the al alternative lifestyle of like you know piercings, tattoos, music, rock music, metal music, and things like that, and where I kind of found myself. But, you know, how did you go from playing, you know, well, you're, you're still playing music, but like mm -hmm. from there to now you're owning, in my personal opinion, like one of the coolest bars in in Lafayette, especially downtown Lafayette. Well, yeah, man, I, I appreciate that. This place is definitely a, a labor of love. Uh, a lot of work goes into it, you know, being outdoors and stuff like that. But to uh, make a long story short, it was uh, after Katrina, I had moved here and I, you know, boss at Hot Top. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Hot Top. Uh, played in O Juliet with Colin Bernard, who was in Down in the Park, and Josh Hefner from Brocious. So it was kind of like a oh, mixture, right? Oh right. my god. Kind of a mixture of a bunch of local bands who were here at the time. And I had I had found that Lafayette had this really uh, great music scene and that this was the place to go while my city was, you know, basically underwater and crippling. So, Rebuilding itself. Uh, and the whole, you know, initiative behind it, you've kind of realized at this point was to bring a New Orleans slash Austin kind of lifestyle to right. Acadiana. And that's exactly what it what it mm -hmm. what it's done, even if you look at you know the crowd here tonight. This place is definitely like for every walk of life, there's nothing specific. Like the original mission was to do something different for downtown. Right. While at the same time um, creating like uh, a multi functional event facility, uh, a business incubation you know and we got comedy now right so and so we were trying to do like um, a French market um, style situation just like you know when you go to New Orleans you have the French Quarter French market uh, we wanted to do a miniature version of that so that people would have the ability to incubate their business if they didn't have a brick and mortar they could set up here all week all weekend to sell their products Living here is very special because this is the most bi-local uh, town that yeah. I've ever been to. And everybody in Lafayette is super pumped about buying local. Uh, look at, I mean, look at Parish Inc. Yeah. And how many locations do they have now? You know I don't I mean? even know. I know, um, I know of two. And me and Colin's brand, Folklore, like anything, you know, if it says Lafayette or Louisiana on it, specifically Acadiana is just drawn and magnetized to it. Yeah. Which is why, you know, as this place, we try to capitalize on incubating these small businesses that were developed in Acadiana and supporting really strong local craft breweries. For, you know, for instance. Clockwork Orange. That's, Remember I, that story I, you, I told you? Yeah, Try you, telling it, man. I, man, I'm upset that like I never, I've never, never, I never put the two and two together. I never put the two and two it's together. called Corova it's, Milk Porter. I, She's got orange hair. That's why it's You've upsetting. seen that's why it's upsetting. Yes. That's why it's bar. upsetting. 
That's why I'm upset. I'm like, nah, that's a cool name. Yeah. I, thought, I totally thought it was just like a disco black chick. And it was just like, cool. And so these people on the side of the cans as well? Just, no. <sighs> that's upsetting. I'm I'm not disappointed in you, man. I hope not. I blame I'm it not. on your youth. There you go. Those. Because you drank that way too fast. I'm sorry, I did. I, like, I noticed that probably like halfway through the interview that I'm like, oh shit, I fucking like, I'm drinking like I'm at home. All right, Joshua, always a pleasure.